Hi guys, um, I'm just here from the couch. <laughs> um, Starla's over here too, so she may come around um, for the video. This is gonna be a vertical video, you guys, because I am not setting up the, eye, the tripod. Okay, let me get comfortable. <clears throat> so, I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to do like Queen of Swords musings. So I pulled the Queen of Swords out of my universal tarot deck, the universal weight. I love the depiction of these cards. They're soft, real soft. This is like the 90s version. There's a more updated version of this deck, but I feel like the coloring isn't as great as the, um, the 90s version. So gotta love those older ones. So anyways, let's just stick her right here. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to talk about Queen of Swords. Um, when I first started the tarot journey, I honestly, like I identified myself as a Queen of Cups, right? So I think we all do that. I think all of us as readers, um, we identify ourselves as one of the court cards, <clears throat> whether it's a queen, a king, a page, whatever. And I feel like we, I'll just do it this way because the lighting is a little bit better. <laughs> Um, I think we, we identify ourselves as a court card to kind of better understand the court cards. Um, but for me, I totally resonated with the queen of cups because the queen of cups is super intuitive. She's super like nurturing, loving, sensitive. She's like just this like watery, watery vibe. And that was just totally what I vibe with because I, you know, my Pisces and my heavy, I have a lot of water in my chart. So the water energy was like totally me, right? And um, and then I started to develop into the queen of pentacles. And then I started into queen of wands. And I've been a queen of wands lately. But I'm starting to feel a shift now. <laughs> um, and I don't know if it's like the energies of the like what's going on right now in the skies and the astros and with the planets and all the transits and all that beautiful stuff. Like I'm still learning how to read all that. But I have been feeling super queen of swords lately um, and not so much in a positive sense. So my experience with being, you know, queen of cups or a wands or a pentacle has always been really pop, like really positive, right? Um, and I'm noticing that my queen of swords energy <laughs> is actually like bringing out more of the negatives in myself, in my personality traits, or in my tendencies to be more red personality than my normal blue personality. Okay. So have you guys ever taken those, those colored personality tests where it tells you if you're like red, blue, or green or something like that? Um, I had to take one for a job before. So that's the only reason why I know like what I am. And so my results came out blue and red, <laughs> which is totally Gemini rising. Um, so blue and red personalities are blue personalities are like those nurturers, the emotional ones in the workplace. And then the red personalities are the leaders and they are the aggressive ones. They are the, like, think of it as a fire sign energy. And the green ones are the studious ones. They're the smarty pantses, right? And so <laughs> I've always thought of myself as a studious person, a, you know, a smarty pants, studious type, because that's how I was in school. I was always like studying and like, get, I, you know, I got pretty good grades. And when I didn't see the green in my personality test, I was surprised because I thought for a fact I was going to get that, you know, me being like the bookworm and, you know, like that, that kind of thing. <laughs> and so when my personality test came out blue red I was like what red red was like the one color I was not thinking I was gonna see in my personality test because I thought I was too much of a like crybaby to be a red personality <laughs> and so that was really interesting to me and it really registered to me as um I have the tendency to literally be one one side of the emotional spectrum or the other there's like no calm in between <laughs> and that's always been my personality that's always been how i am i'm either super super happy super super sad or super super angry 
and there's usually like no common ground or if there is common ground it's very like treacherous waters because you just don't know what the fuck's gonna happen after so i'm really unpredictable when it comes to my moods and i've been told that by a lot of people um for the most part my mood is usually happy and you know smiley and i get along with everybody but um if i am pushed the wrong way <laughs> i can be very mean and very upfront and that's where my queen of swords tendencies come out and so last week I was tested, I was so tested with my patience and, and all of that. And my queen of swords came out 100% last week. And I'm a little nervous that she's gonna come out again this week. So my, my, um, my buttons were pushed a lot last week. Um, it, was, it was a little challenging at work because we were short staff. And then um, I was working with just just a <laughs> just a person I have a difficult time working with because of their work habits and stuff like that um and so I was a little frustrated because of of that situation right and so um <laughs> work the work situation was a little frustrating because of that I was dealing with and then you know when you are in a bad mood you will attract people in a bad mood so Sorry, I wanted to move my glasses so I don't sit on them. Um, so because I was in a bad mood at work, I you better believe I was attracting all of the like people with attitudes. You know, all the patrons coming up to the desk had attitude, and it was like pushing my buttons even more, right? And so at one point, I had to take a time out. <laughs> I left. I left work. I went and I got myself a coffee, and I like took that time to drive to the coffee shop and drive back just to blast music and like just to put myself in time out because I was too much of this well more so like this right so um I have noticed that I am still learning to harness my queen of swords vibration <laughs> because I tend to see my queen of swords tendencies come out but in a negative manner um now i guess if you look at it this way like my youtube channel me coming out verbally um you are seeing a lot of queen of swords tendencies because i am communicating with you guys but i do tend to come off as more mama bear in my videos i feel you could correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> um but i feel like i come out with like more mama bear tendencies in my videos and so to me you guys are seeing a lot of my queen of pentacles um so yeah i just i don't know i i think that's just the way i'm wired you know i can't help it my 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 birth chart is wired the way it is it's not going to change um i'm a gemini rising so and then i have a cancer moon so it's water and then you know my gemini rising which is totally queen of swords energy um but my gemini rising has me being outwardly to other people like i'm very um, I could be outspoken. I can be very social. I could, you know, communicate and all of that. But then if I'm too much in my emotions, my cancer moon comes out and I become like super hermit. Like I don't want to be around people. So it really depends on the situation and my mood and who's around and where the planets are aligned that day. <laughs> um, but I... To me, it's like I'm a Pisces sun, so Pisces is two, and Gemini is also two. Pisces, if you see, like, it's the two fish, right? And I've always looked at the Pisces as sometimes you are the fish that is swimming above, right? And then sometimes you are the deep dweller of a fish, and so you're just like, you're either out there with the crowd or you are hiding in your cave kind of a thing. And then with the same thing with the Gemini rising, the Geminis are so moody. We're moody. We are all over the place. We are hot, cold. And I think that that, along with the Cancer Moon, just creates me to be a super touchy, super hot, cold, moody person. I have always been a moody person ever since I was little. Um, and sometimes my moods just get the better of me. Like, they get to be too much. Um... And so when they get too much, I see red. 
<laughs> and so when I see red, I am the meanest person, you know, I, I, I say shit to people and I just don't have a filter. I just say whatever is on my mind and I have been known to really hurt people's feelings. Um, <laughs> and then I have been known to say things I regret, you know. So I'm always putting my foot in my mouth at times when I get into like this negative mode. So it's just interesting. I wanted to talk about that today because I thought that <clears throat> I'm finally embracing Queen of Swords energy, but I'm trying to learn how to embrace her in a more positive sense. Um, so I want to be, I want to be more Queen of Swords. I totally do. I feel like she's a leader. I feel like she is super, um, independent. She's smart. She's funny. She's like outgoing. She's, she tells it like it is, right? She's brave. But if you see her in the negative sense, she could be hurtful and she could be, unpredictable and moody and just someone you don't want to be around so <laughs> I don't want to be like that you know so this week I'm going to really see how how things go um, especially in the workplace because that's usually when I encounter more of my queen of swords tendencies not so much when I'm home because it's just me and the cats so there's really no chance for me to blow up on anybody <laughs> but yeah so that is my experience with the queen of swords and I just kind of wanted to just discuss that a little bit because I'm bored I have like an hour before I gotta leave for work and I'm done doing the things that I needed to do today so I was like you know what while I lay here and relax why not discuss something tarot related and then I'll have something to put up on my YouTube channel so anyways you guys thank you for watching um we will be back we will <laughs> we will i will i will be back later um hopefully with some new videos for you guys and yes so have a beautiful day and i will talk to you guys soon bye my loves